all if. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this final solution that the Nazis had. Yeah. You know, um, it's looking more and more like the final solution of law enforcement is the refusal to enforce the laws. <laughs> now, after years of informing you of fraud, yeah, you seem to think that you don't have to enforce the law. Mm -hmm. And eventually you're going to come up with that final solution. Yeah. Now, your thought was that, well, we'll just put them in a Nazi concentration camp. Poop. Or you called it a mental facility. Well, let's look at some fraud. Poop. You refuse to acknowledge that I have any rights as a citizen of the United States. Mm -hmm. That I didn't receive actual notice of the hearing. Yes. That the order was not issued in accordance with the full faith and credit provisions of the VAWA. Mm -hmm. That all these restraint provisions, yes, mm -hmm. there is no penalty of perjury because the petitioner didn't sign it. That um, you're going to continue to say that I'm mentally ill for wanting to use the judicial system of the United States and... You said that the court would review upon motion of the respondent? Yes. The problem is, is that you kept putting no contact until there's a mental health evaluation? Yes. Of respondent and treatment if recommended. Now, this temporary care where the state has the exclusive continuing jurisdiction? Yes. Looks to me like they have that jurisdiction without the actual acknowledgement of the petitioner. Yes, because I don't see a pic. I don't. I don't. I don't see a signature on here. Yes, she never acknowledged receipt of a copy of this order, and I don't really believe this is the signature of the actual county clerk. Now, how a state could have continuing, exclusive jurisdiction, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Petitioners granted temporary care, custody, and control of the minors named in the table above. Yes. Now, she never acknowledged that. I was never given any due process. And you don't want me to use the judicial system because your thought was you'd say I was crazy if I motioned the court. Now, the Nazis had this final solution where the Jews were crazy. Yes. They had to be exterminated. They were not going to go the Nazi way, and they were not going to agree to Hitler ruling them. So eventually they began using sealed vans. Yes, mm -hmm. prisoners choked to death on exhaust fumes of the vans traveled to a burial pit. It reminds me of the COPD that I'm experiencing. Well, just choke them to death. Mm. Now, there's the fraud of the arrest of myself for the allegations of violating the protection order. Yes. When I was on the bus that morning, yeah, I was in this library that afternoon, and you don't want me to sue you for false arrest. Yes. False police reports. Yes. And the falsification of... Well, if you look at the bus video surveillance camera footage, you'll see I wasn't in Squim. Yeah. And then there were all those court hearings in 2016. Yes. Where I was arraigned on the 5th day of January of 2016. Yes. And I was not in Squim, Washington. Oh. I did accidentally send one email to Judge Porter that said, get me every IP address of the world. <laughs> How the petition would consider that being threatening. Yes. As if I would get convicted for that. Mm -hmm. Now, I never waived my right to a speedy trial in uh, 2016. Yes. In fact, I documented in emails that I asked my public defender to explain to me what a speedy trial is. Yes. Because I did go through a trial in 2012 and I did know what it was. <laughs> my concern was, did my public defender know what the speedy trial is? Yes. But the problem is, it's not 57 days after arraignment. Isn't that right? Oops. Ooch, ooch. You violated my right to a speedy trial in 2016. <laughs> my public defender lied when he said I violated. Now, the fraud. Mm -hmm. See, 
It's documented in emails <clears throat> that I never waived my right to a speedy trial because I wasn't in Squim, Washington, and I documented the evidence that you as the judiciary right now. So what's the final solution? Oh, you used the wrong form. Mm -hmm. It's uh, actually a fraudulent statement to say this state is 57 days after arraignment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you really don't think these court forms have to be filled out according to what is true and correct, but I would say under the penalty of perjury, that's the fucking fraudulent form. Now, Judge Porter requested my presence in court. Do you remember that public defender's office? Yes. I had emailed local law enforcement what a citizen should respond, and I said, I'm not evading going to court. <laughs> I just want you to give me the notice from the state of jurisdiction, and you seem to think you can request anybody to have to appear in court. Ouch. I think there's some fraud in <laughs> Now, uh, eventually, yes, 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 after spending 27 days in jail mm -hmm. for not failing to appear because I wasn't evading going to court, I just wanted to have the notice of the court hearing that should have been docketed because you decided you, well, did you put it on the docket or was it a, <laughs> now, we're having some difficulty with judiciaries not enforcing the laws, <coughs> Now, this idea of saying, well, we don't have to listen to him because he's mentally ill. Yes. Kind of like the Jews during the time of the Nazis. Well, they have no legal rights because they're Jewish. And I have no legal rights because I'm not in the way. Po, 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 po. And then there's that uh, service of myself in the Squim Public Library by an individual that was not in the sheriff's office. <laughs> I had told the sheriff, I don't want to sue them. <laughs> now. There's this big dissolution of marriage. Remember this decree of dissolution, Judge Rohrer? Yes. I didn't actually get a copy of it. <laughs> and it seemed to me that you obligated the citizens of this state in the United States to have to pay child support for the last seven years. <clears throat> now, there seems to be a lot of fraud. Oh, and for myself to remember exactly what it is I'm talking about... <laughs> All I have to do is Google Marilyn's name in quotations and I can see the fraud. Now, <coughs> I'm wanting to make sure. Yes. Now, this failure to appear. Yes. Where I had emailed law enforcement and I wanted to know what the, the district court case was about. Yes. This half a million, 100,000 or 500,000, 100 dollars. Yes. I thought that was excessive. <coughs> As if I couldn't see Judge Landis right now. <clears throat> now, as I go through these, okay, <laughs> we're just looking at it because the protected person, yes, didn't sign the weapon surrender form. <laughs> as if my right to keep and bear arms could be, oh, well, taken from me for the rest of my life. Hooch, that Second Amendment? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, this says a file proof of surrender within five business days after being served this order. Yes. I know you went through my backpack hundreds of times and you never found any drugs or you didn't find any weapons, but it says that I had actual notice and opportunity to be heard when I didn't. Now, when you really think about it, okay, pooch, I got like uh, 20 to 50 fraud lawsuits right now. What's your final fucking solution? Oh, I know what it is. We just kill those that don't want to go the way. Mm. Uh, what's the final solution? Let's see. I'm not in your family. I'm not going to fuck my way into your family. Yes. I'm not going to come the money and I'm not going to call my relatives. So why don't you in the law? Why don't you remove your fraud? No. I've documented what could be hundreds of lawsuits and thousands of variations. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and for some dumb reason, yes, you keep thinking that what you're doing is legal. <laughs> now, I know Mr. Cowgill said that if, uh, if I had a problem, yes, yes, yes. Uh, my remedy was to motion the court. Yes. <laughs> As if you were giving me legal advice, but 
I thought that any court that obstructs any citizen from the lawful use of the judicial system of the United States should take it upon themselves to remove their court orders. Now, since July 8th of 2011, when I wasn't a resident, yes, my wife had me arrested on Guam, yeah, you never have Jim. What's your final solution? 